At 630, the Guardian Angels have brought their crime patrols to the whaling city, but not everyone's excited about the paramilitary-style citizens group. Today, the Angels tried to garner support as they marched in the parade at the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament. It was a parade of celebration through the streets of New Bedford Sunday as the Feast of the Blessed Sacrament wrapped up. There were the famed Budweiser Clydesdale horses, plenty of bands and dancers, and this year a new addition, the Guardian Angels. Sort of like your rock stars, but now we have to deliver. So the hard work is to be done, the heavy lifting, organizing, getting people from New Bedford and Fall River involved in getting, getting to become Guardian Angels. The Angels have already started their patrols of the city, and the response is overwhelmingly positive. Somehow, for some reason, they seem to help um, unite the community to combat crime. And we need that so much in the city because the crime has gotten out of hand. While many in the New Bedford community are glad to see the guardian angels walking the street, the angels and the mayor don't exactly see eye to eye. We preach nonviolence. We preach non-intervention. So that's a little bit different than uh, the guardian angels philosophy. Maybe the uh, mayor and the elected officials should be walking with us to see all the positive response we're getting as opposed to the negative response that they've initially given our effort. And to help get that grassroots effort off the ground, angels from throughout the region are here to help train and staff the New Bedford Angels. It's about maintaining a presence in the street to help deter crime that's actually happening right on our streets. The new Guardian Angels will be trained in self-defense, CPR, and how to patrol the streets. They hope to deter violence, drug trafficking, and prostitution.